Hello and welcome to Throwback Thursday comic book reviews. Today we're going to discuss Alan Moore's Batman, The Killing Joke. Now be warned, this video does have major spoilers and not to mention that some of the artwork that you'll be seeing in this video is pretty gnarly and intense. It's pretty fucked up, so for our younger viewers, you guys have been warned. And if you have not read The Killing Joke, go read it. It's phenomenal. So we start off with Mark Hamill. Earlier this week, Warner Brothers uh, and DC Animations have confirmed that he will be voicing the Joker once again for the Killing Joke animated movie. Now, this is pretty cool. He's been voicing him for over 20 years. There's him right there. So let's start off by Alan Moore. And if you guys are not familiar with Alan Moore, he is the creator of great works like Watchmen. Uh, he is responsible for also for V for Vendetta. Now, uh, keep in mind now, back in 2008, there was a special edition version of The Killing Joke. And on the top, on the top label, you see the original artwork and the bottom is a special edition version. So just letting you guys know, you'll be seeing both of that. Okay, so we start off with the origin of the Joker. There hasn't been a really solid origin of the Joker, except for this one. This is the only story where you see a actual struggling comedian Joker. He's, uh, he's behind his bills. He's starving. His wife is pregnant and there's no way he can pay the bills and he sucks at being a comedian. So he resorts to crime. He gets tied in with the local gangsters and they make a plan to go steal this uh, chemical place and at the same time they want him to wear this red hood okay so while they're doing that everything fails when the police and Batman shows up and as Batman is trying to rescue this guy this struggling comedian underneath this red hood he falls into the bat of chemicals as we probably already are familiar with this and he escapes the police and Batman so he comes up to shore from the and then he notices that his skin has turned white and his hair is turned green and his reds are and his lips are getting red i'm pretty sure you guys are getting familiar where i'm getting at now and we see finally the birth of the joker this is the joker now he is officially insane and he's completely lost it and his wife is dead and there's a whole bunch of other stuff that goes on so we go back into the story and it starts off with batman thinking that he's been talking to the Joker in Arkham Asylum the whole time, realizes he's just, it's just an imposter. So once again, the Joker has escaped. Meanwhile, at the home of Commissioner Gordon, Barbara Gordon answers the door and someone's been knocking on it and it's the Joker. And right then and there at point blank range, the Joker shoots a bullet into Barbara Gordon, making her fall through the coffee table. Commissioner Gordon has no idea what's going on and he's just fearing for his daughter's life. And he just realizes it's the Joker and a few goons have walked into his apartment and He's evaded his home. He tries to fight him off, but the goons just beat him senselessly and he's knocked unconscious. And this is the part where it gets pretty brutal. The Joker has a film camera and he starts undressing Barbara Gordon and he's drinking and he's got that really sadistic laugh. But have no fear, guys. She may be paralyzed, but later on in continuity, Barbara Gordon does indeed become Oracle. So the Joker takes Commissioner Gordon to his new hideout, which is this abandoned carnival looking area. And he tells him what he's gonna do him. He's gonna drive him over the edge. So he strips a butt naked and he sends uh, Commissioner Gordon for a ride in this terrible, disgusting fun house. And inside he sees these images of his daughter, Barbara Gordon, just being tortured and possibly raped. It's a whole new low from the Joker. It's looking like the Joker's plan is actually working. Gordon might be going insane. But just then, Batman shows up to the scene and he tells Joker, listen, we've been doing this for a long time. It's a cycle. One of us is dying tonight. So they get into an epic battle and Joker sprays acid into Batman's arm, as you can see. And Joker runs into the fun house. Batman spots Jim Gordon and Gordon tells him, look, you have to go get him. But I want him brought in and I want him brought in by the book. And which it means is that do not kill the Joker. So Batman goes and follows the Joker and right there he gets ambushed and trapped and they get into another big battle and finally right there Batman has beaten the Joker physically. Now he's trying to help him this time. Batman's trying to tell him, listen, I'm trying I'm just doing this for Jim Gordon. You have to come in. I can help you. And Joker says, no, it's over. There's and right there the Joker tells Batman a joke about these two guys in a mental institution that they escape and if you jump over the rooftop he's gonna turn off the light. Look, read the read the book and you'll know. But right there, as he finished the joke, Batman laughs. He goes, huh, at first. Then he starts giggling. Like he's really laughing. Look, I mean, both of these men, both of these nemesis are laughing hysterically together in the rain after an epic death match. And the crazy part is, right there on the left panel, you can see both of their feet, and then all of a sudden, they're gone. 
Batman and the Joker have both taken off together. What? I know. It's insane. Now, th uh, this ending has been known for being very extremely controversial, but that is the end. Could it be that Batman and the Joker are new best bros? What? No way. I know. The ending is... It just ends like that, pretty much, just with Batman and the Joker laughing it all off. Okay, so that is the end of the story. Overall, I gotta say, in the end, I give Alan Moore's Batman a killing joke, the killing joke, five out of five skulls. The reason that being is because, yeah, the ending is pretty damn extreme. Yes, but I like it. I thought it was really good, and it really sets up a whole new universe as far as continuity goes, as far as with Barbara Gordon and Jim Gordon. It just shows the ultimate battle between good and evil. I really like Batman's mentality. He's like, listen, one of us is going to have to die tonight because I am sick and tired of putting this guy in jail, and he's just all he's going to do is just escape. I also like the theme of one bad day. One terrible day can change your whole life forever. It worked for the Joker, but it did not work for Jim Gordon. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If if you like this video and like to see more, hit the subscribe button so that we can see more. Check out our blog at axialskeleton.wordpress.com. Until then, stay focused, stay sharp, and axial on.